Turning now, we'll bring in 23 ABC's meteorologist Brandon Michaels as we head into the week. See what our forecast is going to be and whether or not we're going to be enjoying hot cocoa as we're watching that virtual parade. <laughs> I think you definitely can be enjoying some hot cocoa. Definitely going to be on the cool side uh, this uh, week here and also looking at the potential for some rain for us on our Thursday. So maybe it's a good thing that the parade is held virtually this year. Looking at a little bit of cloud cover on the radar in satellite right now, but some gaps in there and we're going to keep those gaps with us through the night tonight and that's going to allow us to cool off enough that we could be looking at some fog. We're going to be looking at visibility in the valley here. Definitely a little bit decreased. That's likely indicative of some patchy fog developing late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Probably not quite as dense as it has been, but still some chilly temperatures and fog tomorrow morning and only getting up to about 56 the high tomorrow. So kind of right in that range of today. Definitely on the cool side, which is pretty normal for this time of year. 49 in Tehachapi and about 56 in California City for tomorrow. Very calm too. That's something that else else that helps with fog forming those nice calm conditions. Five miles per hour there in California City by tomorrow evening. So those winds not really a factor. Air quality actually going to be pretty good tomorrow in the moderate range. No burning unless registered for tomorrow. Let's get into the extended forecast though because I said we do have the potential for some rain right in time for the Christmas parade here. About a 20% chance here in the valley. So it's not the best chance but we do have some moisture in the forecast that we're going to watch uh, carefully as a cold front heads our way coming up later through the forecast here. You see the temperatures pretty much hovering right in the 50s for the next several days. Looks like as we get into next week we could see those temperatures bumping back up into the 60s but definitely looking and feeling like December for the next couple of days here. Not only the chance of rain in our mountain communities as we head into the day Thursday but some breezier conditions as well as winds picking up as that cold front swings through Kerb County down to about the 40s for most of the forecast here for Tehachapi as we head into next week. We do see those temperatures getting a little bit warmer once again with highs in the 50s and even the 60s for the Kern River Valley but it's been a warm and dry start to the month so this is kind of a welcome change back to uh, more typical December weather. Oh, yeah.